In front of me on my desk are a couple, I probably shouldn't say a couple, it's probably a couple dozen items that have been sent to me in PR. And I wanted to share those with you. I actually wanted to share today with you what I do get as PR, not in any way boasting because as a smaller YouTuber, I don't get a lot of PR. Now I've been very, very fortunate to be able to get on a few different PR lists. What I wanted to do more than anything was shout out to these companies and tell them thank you so much for supporting someone that is in my demographic, which is the over 50 beauty community or the over 40 beauty community, because I know that there are so many companies that really target a younger younger demographic but women our age are spending their money where they want to and if they want to spend it on a lot of makeup that's what they do so i just wanted to make sure that i called out these companies told them thank you so much for being such fantastic supporters of me through the eight years that i've been on youtube going on nine going on nine years and i just wanted to make sure i thank them so much there's some of them in front of me that have sent me very recently and then there's some that i do get quite often such as drunk elephant drunk elephant has been so kind and generous to send me so many things over the past six months i don't know how i even got on their radar but i'm so thankful to them and i'll tell you what as far as brush companies i am in no need of brushes because bk beauty and refer brushes have sent me their entire collection thank you so much to bk beauty and refer both of those are exceptionally high grade or high quality brushes. I love the different brushes that they send me. I love being able to experiment with so many and being able to show them on camera and you know how well they work. Refer came out with a mini line, which I think is so good because so many women have very small eyes or those big brushes, they just get away from you. And then BK Beauty, their quality cannot be surpassed. I just think that they are just fantastic. And they continue to come out with new things, not just eye brushes, which is what I'm holding up today, but they come out with face brushes. Same thing with Sigma. Sigma has been around forever. Their brushes are so good. All three of these companies Sigma, Refer, and BK Beauty have really good sales. Sigma often has a 50% off sale. Refer has their 40% off their concept store. And BK Beauty always has their Mother's Day. They all have a sale all the time. So all of these companies, I am so, so grateful for them sending me their brushes. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate all of those. The other one that I was kind of surprised at that I got on their radar was from ColourPop. Now, ColourPop is one of those companies that you either love or you hate. And I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I've gotten recently. I got the whole entire Pokemon collection, which, you know, this is very bright and it's not something necessarily that I would use, but I'm gonna definitely pass this on to my daughter or somebody that can use it. Their quality is just, it's so gorgeous. Everything about their formula for their eyeshadows is absolutely beautiful. These are glitter toppers which I really like, but I have to be careful about those. Plus I don't wear a lot of glitter, but they do have an amazing quality. Like take a look at that. It's kind of a purplish color. That would be so bright on anybody's eyelid. It's just gorgeous. The saturation is phenomenal in their products. They're really good. I will show you the palette that I got from Beauty and the Beast from them, which I thought was so well done. And again, if you have a teenager in your life or you have somebody that loves this kind of thing, you know, the Pokemon, the Disney, all of that, they're really good about keeping on trend with everything, but they do have such good quality that a palette like this is very easy for me to use, except for maybe that bright blue. Everything else in here I can use. If you have had your eye on something from ColourPop and you've been wondering about their quality, I can assure you that their quality is just superb. And that's their eyeshadows. I do wanna show you one more thing that I got from them on their eyeshadows, which I'm really excited about. It's their precious metals. And I know that a lot of people say, don't, as you age, wear metallic eyeshadows, but their metallics are so well done. Now that one's kind of got a lot of glitter in it, but still so pretty. This one right here is a silver and woo baby that is bright and beautiful but they have thrown in some incredible mattes in here and they've done it in a new in neutral tones so you have a few cool tones a few warm tones and then some neutral tones in here 
This is a gorgeous palette. If you love the Stone Cold Fox palette and you do like the metallics in there, I think that you will like this Precious Metals palette. It's really good. Also, I'm not gonna open some blushes and some lip balms and different things that I did get with the Pokemon one. I'm just gonna gift those, but they do have really nice blushes. Like this came with the Beauty and the Beast one, and this one is a Mrs. Potts and Chip. I thought that was so cute. And the blushes are a really good quality as well. This is a powder blush. It just goes on really well. It's really pretty. Pretty. I really do like them and I absolutely love it when they do this big huge tub of these highlighters They're really really pretty highlighters. I've loved these for a long time now. This is an elf brush I didn't have any other face brushes right next to me But these are so pretty and I don't have any sort of highlighter on so I can just dab that on it's so pretty and this one is no exception. These are super soft. They're just very glowy. They don't really have any glitter in them, so you're not gonna see a bunch of sparkle glitter on your cheeks when you use them. Just really good quality, and I love ColourPop, and like I said, you know, sometimes their themes are a little bit out there for somebody that's older and more mature, but their quality can't be beat. So if you see a palette or you see something in there that you'd like to try, go ahead and give it a try. Also, Pixie Beauty. Pixie has been one of my supporters since I started and they have just been so very generous with me and I love their products. Their skincare is really good. Now this is what I just got and I did last week get some of their rose petal collection. This one is a makeup fixing mist. I really do like this. It's been really good for holding my makeup on. And then they have their, their original glycolic that they kind of start started with. I love that one. That's what actually got me started on glycolic and glycolic acid is so good for softening your skin. There's nothing like it. Now this one is one of their blushes and then they again are trying to duplicate the ones that came out from Tarte that are the click ones. I haven't even opened this one yet. So let's go ahead and look at this color. So there is our color. Oh, this isn't the click. This is actually, you're gonna twist on this one. So this is kind of an orangey color, which I don't normally wear, but um, pretty colors, but it's very sheer. So you could wear it with a lip liner if you wanted or whatever, but I'm sure they have come out with a bunch of colors. And then I know for a fact that they do have a bunch of colors in this blush. This is a very sheer blush. It's easily buildable. I do like this formula. It's kind of balm-like. So it just comes in a stick like this, and then you twist it up and then you go ahead and you put it on your cheeks or you can use it on a brush. They aren't overly pigmented, so you can share them out, but you can definitely build them up. And they're really good for somebody that has dry skin as well. So again, thank you Pixie for always supporting me and being so wonderful about your support. The other one that I have in front of me that I recently got on their PR list is from IT Cosmetics, and they came out with their IT CC Natural Matte, and I do like this. I don't have it on today because I was doing a different tutorial, but I do like this. And I didn't open this brush slash concealer brush, but this is a dual ended one. And I do love this brush. It is really good for quickly putting on their CC creams and their concealers. It just buffs out really quickly and really easily. This natural matte CC cream, I find it gives you a very soft kind of ethereal glow to your skin. It's not super coverage, but you can build it up to be full coverage if you need it to be. I've really been enjoying this and let me know if you guys would like to see this in action and I'll put it in a tutorial for you. Cosmetics also sent me their new lip gloss. I will tell you that I'm not crazy about this lip gloss formula. It's a little bit too slippery and I want my lip gloss formula to not be sticky, but be a little bit thicker so that it stays on. So I'm not crazy about that one, but I am crazy about the new CC cream. The last thing that I wanna show you is something that just came in the mail and kind of inspired me to do this video because they sent me a lot of products and it is from Physicians Formula. I know I have more than this, but I don't know what I've done with it. So Physicians Formula recently as well, probably within the last nine months has reached out and they've started sending me some really great products and they just came out with this one that I'm really excited to act, to try actually. This is called the Butter Glow Contour Wand and um, Charlotte Tilbury did these first, of course. There's two colors here. One is Fair Light and the other one is Medium Deep. I'm gonna try the Fair Light and see how that one does. I know in Charlotte Tilbury's they're a little bit warm for me, so we shall see on this one. And again, I'm sure that it's the same type of um, delivery system where you push up. Yep, it's just like that. So 
let's see what we've got right here. So that is pretty warm. Um, that And it's thinner than the Charlotte Tilbury, so that you know that too. It feels like it would be pretty easy to blend out and tap out. Um, and again, if you want to see something like this in action, let me know and I will see what I can do. They also came out with their color correctors that are in kind of the same delivery system, more like a sponge applicator, which I probably wouldn't use. I'd probably just dab it on. This one right here is the peach. Besides the green and the peach, I also did get a yellow and a purple, which I'm not going to use those because I know I wouldn't use them in my everyday life. So I'm not going to open those. I'll let somebody else get some good use out of it. So you do have the um, doe foot applicator inside of there and then there is the formula. This is very thin. I can feel it. It's very, very thin. So if you're somebody that likes a really thin formula and you need a thin formula, this might be perfect for you. I need a little bit thicker, more juicy formula because I'm so dry. So just so you know that they came out with these um, Butter Glow Bronzing Serum from Mur Mur, Mur Muru Muru, and <laughs> Butter Bronzing Serum. I haven't even looked at this one yet. Oh, it's not even cracked. There are a lot of companies coming out with this kind of thing right now. That's a little bit different. That's a very, very thin. I would say that you could use that in a tinted moisturizer or in your foundation to kind of bronze up. I don't know how easy that would be to put on your skin. It's a serum and it says it's infused with illuminating minerals to impart a subtle radiance and a powerful blend of Muru Muru butter. So it does look pretty right there where I've kind of blended it out. So I'll play with this and report back to you as well. And lastly, I wanna say thank you to Alter Ego for being so good about sending me everything that they have made. And this is their latest one, it's called Mystique. Again, the colors are so vibrant and so saturated. They do shadows so, so well. I, I really do like this company. This is one that I would probably be using more as eyeliners because obviously I'm not somebody that's gonna be that adventurous, but look how vibrant that is. So pretty, I'll show you the green one too. Um, they just have just this really beautiful saturated formula and I've loved these ever since they started coming out years ago and I just want to tell them thank you so much for being so very kind and sending me out PR all the time. Another company that I can think of right now that does support me and I'm so grateful to is Sydney Grace. They are absolutely fantastic. Naked Sundays, they send me out a few things here and there and I just want to say thank you to them as well. There are so many companies out there and a lot of the bigger YouTubers, they get so much PR, but when you're in my age bracket and you also are a smaller YouTuber, you have a tendency not to get as much. So I wanted to dedicate a video and call out all of those companies and tell them how much I appreciate it and how much I appreciate them being willing to support a woman that's over 50 and on YouTube because I know that it's usually the younger younger demographic that they are looking for but I just wanted to say thank you to all of those companies and thank you to you for supporting me so much and if you want to support companies that do support women over 50 these are the ones that are standouts to me oh shoot before we go I have to show you this from Sigma Sigma just launched these brushes and they are so beautiful. These are face, oops, let's take away the thing right there. These are their new face brushes. These are lovely. They have a new, let me move my arm. They have a new foundation brush and a new concealer brush and then they have other brushes in here. They are all so good. Sigma's quality is just fantastic. So thank you Sigma for sending that out very recently as well. Okay, that's the end of the video. Hope that you did enjoy it. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already. It does help me out so much and I appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Please come see me again and we'll be together in my next video. Love you much. Goodbye my friends.